The heart beats with a rhythm, steady, strong, and essential for life. But what happens when that rhythm goes off track? Let's explore the world of cardiac arrhythmias. A cardiac arrhythmia is a disturbance in the electrical rhythm of the heart. It can cause the heart to beat too fast, called tachycardia, too slow, called bradycardia, or irregularly. Arrhythmias can occur for many reasons, structural heart disease, abnormal conduction pathways, or even in otherwise healthy hearts. Tachycardia or a fast heart rhythm may be caused by increased automaticity, an overactive electrical focus in the atria, AV node or ventricles starts firing on its own. Reentry, a looping signal gets stuck in a circuit, reactivating heart tissue repeatedly. This is the most common mechanism in tachyarrhythmias. Triggered activity. Abnormal impulses arise from a heart cell that hasn't fully recovered, often due to ischemia or drug effects. Bradycardia happens when the SA node slows down or when signals can't pass through the AV node or his Purkinje system. When this occurs, the heart has a backup plan. Escape rhythms take over. Junctional escape rhythms come from the AV node. Slower, but still effective. Adioventricular rhythms arise from the ventricles. Very slow and often not sustainable for long. Arrhythmias are classified based on their origin. Supraventricular arrhythmias come from above the ventricles the atria or AV node. These usually show up as narrow QRS complexes on an ECG. Ventricular arrhythmias originate in the ventricles and typically cause broad, bizarre QRS complexes. But appearances can be deceiving. Some supraventricular rhythms may mimic ventricular ones if there's a conduction block or accessory pathway. Some arrhythmias are silent. Others shout with palpitations, dizziness, shortness of breath, or even fainting. Extreme rhythms, too fast or too slow, can lead to cardiac arrest or sudden death. The first step in diagnosing an arrhythmia, a standard 12-lead ECG, but if symptoms are fleeting, a Holter monitor or a patient-activated ECG may be used to catch the abnormal rhythm in real time. Management depends on the type and severity of the arrhythmia. Some may need no treatment at all. Others may require medication, electrical cardioversion, ablation, or even an implantable device like a pacemaker or defibrillator. 